Hi everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today's video is all about pendulums and I'm going to show you how I created my pendulum swing as well as the consistency that I use for my paint. And then I'll show you a few of my pendulum videos at the end. Let's get you down on the canvas. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell if you're new to my channel. All right, let's get you down and show you how I do my pendulums. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye. So I'd like to take and not drill any holes in the cups, um, except for the bottom, but I'd like this to become my device. It's weighted. It's like one of those ankle weights that you lift with. Um, and then the cup can just sit right down into it, sort of like that. The cup can sit down right into it and then the wires are from here. So that's my plan. Maybe I'll do it from this way. There, that's better. Okay, so that's my plan. And I have some fishing um, little hooks, if you will, that um, turn um, all directions, you know, to have the fish get hooked. So I figured why not try that for this. So I can see I got paint on me from my big painting. Okay. I think I'm just going to make enough string to come up to this point here. And then that's where I'll hook to the ceiling. Okay, so first and foremost, take that off. And we need to go through here. And I'm just gonna knot it, um, double, triple, quadruple knot it. That's all I'm gonna do. Not too tight. So what I'm doing is I'm just connecting three lines uh, in three different areas on this ankle weight in order to meet up in the middle so that I can have a hook to hang it from the ceiling. So uh, that's all I'm doing right here. Um, so I want to hook it in here. So then all I have to do is take this and hook it to my hook above. So and I think I'm going to do one at a time so I can even it out when need be. Okay. Kind of quiet today because my son is home from college this summer and he's just in the bedroom over there sleeping so So this way I can have any size of cup I want here. Um, I just have to replace it um, in there. So, and then I can pour in as much as I want of paint.
So right now what I'm doing is I'm just creating a hook on the line that I have hanging from the ceiling so that way I can hook up my pendulum cup with it. This will be too low, but at least it shows you kind of where and how I created the pendulum. I actually had to raise it up some to give way to the space of the canvas as well as my spacers underneath my canvas. So I actually had to bring it up quite a bit. Now it's time to drill the hole underneath the cup. You gotta be careful with how big of a hole. I learned the hard way that too big will have too thick of a stream and then it'll make a mess. And then if it's too thin, it'll just drop. So make sure that you make it small enough that it doesn't have a big stream, but big enough that it has a steady stream. On a number of these, I actually cracked, as you can see, the cups. And so what I found is that either I start with tape and I drill my hole, especially with plastic, or I take a push pen and push it in with a small hole and start really carefully with the drill going slow. So I chose on this one to do a push pen and then drive in the drill in really slowly. And that's how I got it. So just gotta be careful with plastic, making sure that you're not gonna crack your plastic cup. So now I'm just putting duct tape over top of the hole so that way when I pour the paint in, I just pull the duct tape off when I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna make the white for my black Payne's Gray textured um, 24 by 24 canvas for my pendulum. So I'm gonna make that, and I'm going to make sure that I'm using Liquitex and um, the glitter medium, as well as water, <clears throat> to make it the thin consistency that I was making um, before, uh, except for this time, um, instead of the glitter medium and the white, I'm going to use metallic white um, instead. I'm going to go ahead and put two ounces. Four ounces in here. Then 
I'm gonna get the liquid text out of my way. And I'm going to do metallic white. I'm just going to do two ounces. So I'm going to do a two to one. Since I'm not adding the pearl, or the, not pearl, but the um, opal in it. Metallic white. I cannot wait till my scale comes in. use measuring cups anymore although I do know that a trick that if you are using measuring cups that if you use your Lequitex or your medium first and then you put your paint in it comes out a lot easier so anyway just FYI all right let's stir this up and I'm gonna put more It's super thick. So now add my water. Go ahead and do two ounces. Probably should have added that a little bit at a time. It's so much easier to stir and mix. too much water. Well, maybe not. It's starting to thicken up. Always does that to me. I always think I add too much water and then it thickens up on me. I think this is going to be a good consistency. But I need to get it stirred better. I want to let this sit for a while because I don't want any air bubbles in this one. So I'll let it sit this afternoon. All right, can you see the consistency from there? Probably not. I'll come around over there. You want it running off your stick because if I'm going to do a pendulum swing, it needs to come out. So if you look how it's just running off my stick into the paint, it might make a slight mound on the top and that's okay, but I want it to be thin enough so that as it's coming out that it makes a nice steady stream, right? And I'm going to continue to mix this because there's a few lumps in there. Um, you want the steady stream while you're doing your pendulum. So um, that's the key, right, is to have that steady stream so you don't have a bunch of blobs. All right. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to this. So it was two ounces. Well, that was fun. Did you get that on camera? Probably not. Down below there, see my stick? That's why I have my carpet all covered. All right, I'm gonna go get something to get that up. So again, it was four ounces of Liquitex, two ounces of water, and two ounces of paint. And that's what I came up with for this, okay? All right, bye for now, guys.
is two ounces. Well, that was fun. Did you get that on camera? Probably not. Down below there, see my stick? <laughs> That's why I have my carpet all covered. All right, I'm gonna go get something to get that up. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.